Greetings all, I am Burger coming to you from the bunker. Viewers, subscribers, today let's talk about our preps and how things are going. Now that we've been in a soft lockdown situation, at least uh, in my immediate area for about three weeks now, I'm hearing a lot of chatter about things uh, that have worked very well in the prepper community. And one of the things that uh, is kind of standing out currently is the fact that comfort foods have uh, have gotten a pretty high score from from preppers and other people. Uh, certainly, you know, a lot of these foods are not the most nutritious. Uh, they're not necessary for a survival situation. Uh, but in our current situation, where again, like I said, we're kind of in a, a soft lockdown, uh, these things have proven to be a pretty good morale booster. And in my case, uh, you know, we've we've done the popcorn thing. Uh, additionally, chocolate has been uh, very, uh, very popular in the regular household. Uh, but today I did want to talk about this particular product uh, that I think scores fairly high for our, for preppers for a couple of reasons. And that is this uh, Augustine Farm Classic Brownie Mix. Now, the reason I really like this product really is uh, there's three, three big reasons I like the product. Uh, one is it does not require other things to prepare. The only thing you need to add to this is water and then uh, just mix water with the uh, the mix and away you go. Uh, you can bake it up. Secondly, it is uh, fairly shelf stable. It has a best buy uh, date of 10 years and certainly would be good uh, beyond that. And uh, secondly, I really do enjoy uh, the quality of this product. Uh, Mrs. Rugger and I have been dipping into the brownie mix here in the last couple of weeks, and it is a very good uh, quality product, in my opinion. Uh, so essentially, you don't need the the fresh eggs, the milk, uh, the the oil, and uh, butter, things like that. Now, if you're a hardcore prepper, you've got all those items in powdered format that are shelf stable, and away you go. Uh, but again, easy uh, easy to prepare. Um, it doesn't require a lot of extra stuff and very shelf stable. So, hey, on a side note, what about the egg shortage? Uh, let's keep our eyes on that. I think, um, you know, currently uh, there was an egg shortage prior to our current situation. And I've heard that, uh, you know, with uh, people going into uh, what I call the soft lockdown here in the United States, uh, egg uh, the demand for eggs is up uh, about 40%. Personally, I do not feel that it was panic buying and or hoarding. Uh, I don't, haven't seen a lot of pictures of people just uh, loading up their, their shopping carts with all the eggs uh, that they can possibly um, haul out of the stores. But, uh, you know, I do think that folks knew that they were going to be in their homes and uh, needing, uh, you know, obviously with kids and, and whatnot, uh, wanting eggs. Uh, for breakfast, additionally for baking purposes, I think uh, folks just kind of stored up uh, a few extra eggs and uh, their last trip to the store. So as an example, in my immediate area, uh, there is, uh, eggs are uh, fairly scarce right now, even though the, uh, the stores continue to be open and supply lines are working fairly good. So uh, I don't know if this is going to open up the debate about uh, free range chickens again, uh, but that is something certainly to you know keep our eye on and uh, let's watch those supply lines on eggs. So viewers, subscribers, tell me what I've done well here, what I can do better. Leave your comments down below about the comfort foods that have worked well with your preps and also anything that uh, you wish you would have uh, maybe stocked up a little more before this current uh, situation. This is I Am Rugger coming to you from the bunker. Let's be careful out there.